All right, guys. Uh, I just got my measurements on the snake. And I'm going to say this one more time. I know that y'all don't like me whenever I hold the snake by their head, but uh, I said a second ago, if, uh, if they're not giving me any problems, I don't hold them tight at all. If you can see this, he could get me, no problem. But because he's not, then I don't have a problem holding him loose. Look at that. Blah, blah, blah. Totally cool. But cotton mouths are evil, and all they don't want to do is kill, right? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's so awesome. I love this. Now, don't get me wrong. Some cotton mouths will not let you do that because they fear their life a lot more than this guy. I don't know exactly why this guy is so calm. I don't know if it's because he's smart. I don't know if it's because he just really doesn't feel that I'm going to hurt him. Uh, now he's trying to get away a little bit. I don't know if it's maybe because I caught him last year and he just remembered me. I really couldn't tell you. I don't know. But... Anyway, this snake has shown no aggress aggression whatsoever. He hasn't flickered his yellow tail. He hasn't gaped. He hasn't thrown a fang out when I'm holding him. I couldn't even get him to bite the snake hook when I put it in his mouth. And that's normally pretty aggravating to any kind of animal. And uh, he's done nothing, really. He just tried to get away, and he uh, slithered away when I tried to pin him and stuff. And that took a second, because I didn't want to hurt him. Like snakes. But uh, extremely non-aggressive. So, uh... People out here watching this, this is a, a western cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin, uh, stump tail moccasin, cottonmouth moccasin, you name it. It's all it's all the same, it's just different names. Uh, this is a Echistrodon Pesivorus leucostoma. And uh, notice how he's not jet black, by the way. It's got the rusty brownish colors and all that. Uh, he's getting darker. Snake, the cottonmouths do get dark when they get older, but they're rarely jet black. Normally, when they have some uh, water on their scales, they, you can see the pattern in the brownish in them. Uh, sometimes they're pretty, pretty black, but not not all the time. They, they're normally pretty big if they're like that. And the bellies will always have pattern, no matter what. You see that it's kind of blotched. Almost identical pattern to a broad-banded water snake, but the water snakes are a lot more aggressive. Obviously, you can tell he, uh, he's trying to kill me. Look at him. Woo! Trying to get me. Well, I'm going to make a video showing that cottonmouths are not always aggressive and they don't want to kill people or they don't want to bite unless they're provoked. And this snake is uh, smart enough to know that I don't want to hurt him. So uh, I think I'm about to let him go. Look at this, y'all. Look at that free hand one. See that? Didn't, he just wants to go away. He doesn't want to hurt me. Look at him go. Now he's kind of sitting there like, man, what just happened? I'm going to go over here. Fred, is that you? on with his business. Guys, that is the truth about snakes. Ain't done my business here. Still going that way. You can see when I let him go, there was no tricks, no strings, no nothing. He was completely 100% 100 let go of my hand. And he didn't want to bite me because why would they bite if they don't feel threatened? They only protect themselves by biting or they're eating. So that's how it is in this world. So if people consider this next time you see a snake and you want to kill it, don't kill it. Just let it go on with his business, because if they're not threatened, and if they're not hunting, then they don't want to see people. People are big, we're, we're scary, we're giant, we're going to eat them. So, that's it.